Live tracking all of your reaction to a new story about social distancing in schools. So we've all heard that six feet is the safe distance apart to help curb the spread of COVID-19. And that six foot rule has been one of the biggest challenges when it comes to schools reopening. Now a new report says just three feet is safe. A study was published in the journal Clinical Infectious Diseases. It looked at schools in Massachusetts where three foot guidelines have been used since October. The study found masked students can be seated as close as three feet with no increased risk to them or teachers. School officials in Danville, Indiana echoed those results saying kids have been three feet apart for months with no uptick in cases. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is now exploring this idea as well. But teachers in Massachusetts are saying not so fast, arguing that they've already agreed in their contracts to the six foot requirement. The executive director of the National Superintendents Association says he expects even more states, though, to move in the three foot rule in the coming weeks, saying schools could bring back 75 percent of kids under this three feet rule. Our Sunrisers, though, they had a lot to say about. We had hundreds of comments here on this. A lot of people, though, like Carrie here writing, anyone who thinks kids are even three feet apart in school is, frankly, delusional. And then there's others, like Robert, who's a sub and says most schools he works in have the three foot rule. He writes in part, six feet when possible is more ideal, but it's not always practical. Now, to read more about this study, we do have it posted right now at care11.com. But one thing we've all learned from this pandemic, Chris, is that there's always things changing with it. Yeah, and kids have been shown to be more resilient. But I mean, how do you keep those kids three feet apart right. at, like at lunch and recess, right? I, I mean, they really have to be monitored. Gia?